Welcome back everybody. This is Eric and Barry from Moss Pawn and Gun. Today we got a really fun range video for you. We're going to be shooting the MAC-10 submachine gun. With suppressor. With suppressor. Um, Barry did a very good detailed history of the MAC-10. As you know, uh, Barry worked for RPB back in the 80s, so he was one of the guys that actually helped make the MAC-10. I mean, he's one of the guys that was literally responsible for helping the 80s roar. That's correct. So, uh, Barry, we're going to shoot this thing a little bit today. If you're interested in seeing Barry's history on the MAC-10, which I'm sure you are, it's a very good video that we put together. Um, if you check this link, all right, the box that just showed up under my finger, you can click it and it'll uh, take you right to the video. But this video is about shooting, so uh, let's warm up this MAC-10, man. One of the facts that makes the M10 such a popular machine gun is that, for one, it's one of the most affordable machine guns on the market that you can get right now. Um, a rig like this is generally going to run you about four to five grand, depending on the condition. Um, and there's a ton of companies now that are making really cool aftermarket accessories for the M10. Uh, they make high quality 22 conversion kits. You can get a Sumi drum mag conversion. There's even a shot shell, specialized shot shell uh, conversion where it's got a special shot shell load that shoots full auto uh, that they're going to be introducing soon. Um, so we're going to run the gun. Um, beautiful little M10. This is a very early gun. See how she runs. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna bust that watermelon with some hollow points. Let's see if it's gonna run hollow points. Runs them good. Runs them just like any other round. Sure does. Those were Starfire hollow points. This time on the watermelon, we're gonna run uh, 30 rounds of Wolf ball ammunition, steel cased. Does that bring back memories of RPB, Barry? Oh yeah! That's nice, man. <laughs> right shooting the MAC-10 today, we're gonna try it now without the suppressor. And by the way, we get these uh, silhouette targets from shootsteel.com. Eric and Chad are very exacting on their steel, and these, these targets are very nice. Now, I'm going to fire this gun without the suppressor. I'm going to fire three or four shots semi, and then we're going to try to unload on that plate. Barry, just pretend it's a uh, rival drug dealer. Okay. Got it a few times. <laughs> All right, Barry, well, that was a pretty good try. I'm gonna see how well I can keep a 30 round stick on the plate. I'm gonna try looking down the sights on this thing. It's pretty hard to control this thing though. Let's try it. Pretty hard to see. Definitely a tough gun to control. All right, we got a lineup of sodas here. Let's see if we can take them out. I'd say it does the trick. 